I think one of the exciting things that happens every single month is when you get your pay slip, okay? Because it's like, wow, I got some money now for the next month. It's really, really exciting. And you guys will realize that as well. One day when you get your uh, first salary and you get a piece of paper and it's called your pay slip and you'll look at it and you'll say, oh, wow, how cool is this? And then the sad thing is you're going to see, hold on, where's all this money going? And that's what we're going to do in this ses session. We're going to look at various pay slips and we're also going to look at this whole concept of UIF. So let's start off by looking at a payslip. So I've got a copy of a payslip here, and we need to have a look at it, and we realize this, that this payslip belongs to a certain company. And to keep the identity of the company um, private, we just said company name. Okay, now when I look at this as well, I see that the company does have an address, and that's the address of the company. This um, payslip belongs to a guy called Joe Blocks. Okay, and that's there his full name. He's got an employer number and his employer number is 01. Now, if you work for a huge company, like for example, the education department, num uh, education department, you will get an employee number that's like just this long. Eh? It like really is because they employ so many people that um, you've got to fit into that number. So your employee number might be 29457623 yes like okay so that's it and then this says here a, a job title and this guy is a bookkeeper it tells us that this is pay slip number one in other words this person's only just started to work for this company in fact this is his very first pay slip how exciting i remember the first time i got my pay slip very exciting okay i won't tell you how much it was because that was very depressing all right then it gives us the date so this pay slip was for the first of the first month in other words uh, for the first of january 2012 that's when it's been for that period of time it gives this guy his id number as well and then it tells us where the companies put the bank uh, the money and it's saying, hey, we've put your money into a certain bank. It's got that bank code um, or bank account number. And this is the bank code. Um, in other words, it's for that particular bank. So you've got an account. It's at this branch. And that branch has a bank code. And then as well, in that branch, you have a specific bank account number. And that's the number over there. Now, when we look at this, we see that this guy has a basic pay. He's been working for 21,67 days, and the amount that they're paying him is 10,000 Rand. That's very, very nice money, 10,000 bucks. But there's this horrible word here that appears on every pay slip, and that's the word deductions. In other words, money is coming off your salary every month. And there are two things we want to look at here. The first one is this, P-A-Y-E. In other words, pay as you earn. That's another huge word or words for the word tax. So every month you are paying tax. And this particular guy, Joe Blocks, he's paying 793 rand 33 cents tax that month. Then... We have another thing here called UIF, and it's a hundred rand that's coming off his account. And we're going to talk about what on earth is this UIF, and why is this UIF getting money, some of my money, bro? I need to know more about this, okay? And so his total deductions are 893 rand 33 cents. All right. So let's now have a look at this whole thing to do with UIF. So answer the following questions with the understanding that UIF is calculated at 1% of one's gross salary. Okay. However, there's a maximum amount of 124 Rand 78 that can be charged for UIF. An employer also is responsible for contributing an extra 1% of 124 Rand 78 or 124 Rand 78. In other words, the employer pays the same amount as the employee. Okay, what is this UIF? What does UIF actually stand for? Now, UIF actually stands for un 
employment, okay, insurance fund. And what does that mean? That means this. Folk, every month I contribute a certain amount of money, and the amount of money I contribute is 1% of my salary, okay? But to a maximum of a certain amount. And at the time of putting this program together, the maximum amount you could contribute was 124 rand 78 cents. So if I earn a billion rand a month, I can still only pay a maximum of 124 rand 78 to the unemployment fund. Okay. If I earn a little bit of money, let's say I earn 10,000 rand a month, I'm taking 1% of that, which is 100 rand. So I'm paying 100 rand to my unemployment fund. Now, the whole idea of this unemployment fund is as follows. Let's say I'm working along happily one day and I'm earning my 10,000 rand every single month. I'm paying 100 rand to uh, the unemployment fund. And suddenly, the boss walks in and he says, listen, Peter, uh, we got some good news or we got some bad news. The good news is you're breathing. Cool. The bad news is company's not doing that well anymore. And unfortunately, we're going to have to let you go. Okay. You are basically being retrenched. You don't have a job from tomorrow. Now, what uh, implication does that have for me? That means suddenly now, where I've been earning 10,000 Rand a month, I have no more money next month. I'm not getting a salary. But because I have this insurance, and it's called unemployment insurance, okay, I've been paying a certain amount every month. At a time where I suddenly now cannot work, I can now go to this company, this uh, unemployment insurance fund, go off to this department and say, listen guys, I've been paying towards this every month and you guys have guaranteed that if I suddenly lose my job or I don't have a job and I've tried to get a job and I'm still I'm just not having any luck, you are going to pay me some money. So it's like an insurance, okay? In the same way, if I have an insurance for my car and my wife drives it and bashes it, okay, the insurance fund will pay me out for that car. Why? Because every month I've been contributing an amount in case of an accident. And the unemployment insurance fund works the same. Every month I'm paying some money towards them just in case one day I don't have a job, I can then apply for some money from them and they will now give me some money in view of a salary all right now every month i contribute one percent to a maximum of a certain amount and like i said when we broadcast this the amount at that stage was 124 rand and 78 cents now let's use these or use this information in a question and see how the examiners could ask us this at the end of a year. Right. So my first question is this. A cleaner at a local store earns 3,900 Rand a month. How much does the cleaner contribute for UIF? Now remember he's got to contribute 1%. So I'm going to say 1% of 3,900 Rand is going to be 39 Rand. So every month, we're going to take 39 Rand from our uh, cleaner and we're going to give that to the insurance fund. All right. So although the uh, cleaner gets 3,900 Rand a month, we're going to take away 39 Rand, give it to the insurance fund. She's not going to get the full amount of 3,900 in her bank. She's going to get that amount minus the 39 Rand. The good thing is this, that the employer matches that contribution. They will also give 1%. So they also going to give the same amount of 39 Rand. So in the insurance fund that this person has, not only do they give 39 Rand, the employer gives 39 Rand, that means the unemployment fund is actually getting 78 Rand to put aside in case there's a problem with you one day. Our next question then is how much in total, and we've said that already, she's paying 39, the company's paying 39, that's gonna give us 
78 rand that is paid in. Right, next one. An accountant earns a gross salary of 672,000 a year. How much does the accountant earn every month? Straightforward, we've got 6,000, sorry, 672,000 Rand a year. We divide that by 12 to get an idea of how much they are earning every month. So I'm going to say 672,000, divide that by 12, and the person's earning 56,000 Rand a month. Holy cow, maybe I should have become an accountant and not a teacher. It's 56,000 Rand a month, my giddy on. Gee, imagine what we could do with that money. Okay, so that's how much he earns every single month. The next question, how much does the accountant pay towards UIF? Well, we've got the 56,000 Rand and we want to calculate 1% of that. When we do that on our calculator, we realize they've got to pay 560 Rand. However, folk, remember we said that there's a maximum amount you can pay. And this accountant can only pay a maximum of 124 Rand 78. I think if I remember correctly, 124 Rand 78. Okay, so even though 1% of his salary works out to 560, he can only pay 124 Rand 78. That's the maximum he can pay. And you know why there's a maximum you can pay? There's a maximum you can pay because if this guy is earning 56,000 Rand a month and suddenly the next day he doesn't have a job, he goes to the UIF. The UIF are going to say, listen, pal, we can't pay you 56,000 Rand a month. I'm sorry, there's a limit to how much we can pay you a month. And that's why they limit the contribution as well. Then, next question, how much does the employee contribute? He's got to contribute the exact same amount. Also, 124 Rand and 70 Eight cents. That means in total we have 124 Rand 78 plus the company's paying 124 Rand 78 and we add those two figures together. This is interesting, isn't it? We don't have much time and I thought I'd just end off by showing you this graph. So this graph shows us exactly um, the amount of money that you'd have to pay UIF. So on my horizontal set of axes, I've got the amount that I actually earn, and on my vertical axis, um, I'm going to say uh, the amount I earn, and this is the amount that we pay for UIF. You'll notice that as I earn more, so I'm paying more to UIF. Then suddenly at point B, I get a horizontal line. Why? Because irrespective of how much extra money I'm earning, I can only pay a maximum of 124 Rand 78. So this amount here is 124 Rand and 78 cents. So earning, 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 paying more, paying more, paying more, paying more. Here I carry on earning, 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 but. I can only pay 124 Rand 78 a month. Okay, if you understand that graph, I tell you what, you have an excellent understanding of what UIF is all about and how it's calculated. Right, folk, that's it for this session. Trust it was great. Let's just quickly revise everything that we've looked at. We've said here in summary, in the segment, we've covered the following. We've looked at a pay slip and analyzed the contents, and then we've also explained UIF, what it means, and also how to calculate it. Trust you enjoyed the session. Trust you learned. We'll chat again soon. Cheers.